I'm Julie and we're going to have a video chat on Plants of the Rescue today and um, I, it's it's normally on Saturdays but I think I think going forward I might switch it to Sunday. I'm not exactly sure on that so it might be Saturday, it might be Sunday. Um, sometime over the weekend, every weekend there should be a video chat. Occasionally it you know, it won't happen for whatever reason, but for the most part, there will be a video chat on the weekend. In today's bad video chat, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to try to keep it as brief as I can, um, but I really want to hammer a point home today. And today what I want to talk about is the difference between a whole food plant-based lifestyle and some other diet. Um, I'm mostly going to be focusing on a keto diet or a low-carb diet and what I want to talk about pr primarily is October, November, December. And what I see is the huge difference between following a whole food plant-based diet and following one of those other diets. I'm not just going to beat up a keto or low-carb diet. I'm also going to beat up some of the other mainstream diets as well, including Weight Watchers and a whole bunch, just any other diet that you can think of. Um, why I think that they are completely unsustainable. I think that you can have incredible results really, really quickly on some of these other diet plans. You can lose weight on a keto diet or other low carb diets. You can lose weight on a paleo diet. You can lose weight on any calorie restricted diet because in the end, that's really how you're losing the weight anyways is through calorie restriction. You're taking less calories, you're probably putting out a little more calorie um, expenditure through exercise and movement because when everyone gets gung-ho on a diet, they usually increase their how much exercise they're doing. Um, it kind of goes hand in hand, at least for the for a short duration, until, until people that really don't like to exercise end up getting sick of exercising or the time commitment that it takes or any of those other things that you do when you're on a diet, which is a temporary solution to an ongoing long-term obviously problem. You wouldn't be using a diet if you weren't struggling with your weight. And usually those are very deep-seated issues that took place early, um, you know, early on in life for a lot of us. For other of us, it's, you know, after childbirth or whatever, or some kind of, um, we suffer like a physical ailment or something, or we go through COVID where we gain a lot of weight because of our inactivity and differing lifestyle. And then we found our, find ourselves with excess pounds. But for a lot of us, it's a long, long, long term issue with our weight, at least for me. I've been a food addict as long as I can remember. And I've tried every single diet. Um, I tried keto before there was such a thing as keto. It was the old carbohydrate addicts diet. And it was the same thing. It was a low carb diet. And the thing is, October comes and then if you're not a big fan of Halloween, most people in America do celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas or Hanukkah. And I'm telling you right now, the reason that there is a difference between your diet and my lifestyle is because I can continue on with my lifestyle through every single one of those holidays and never eat off plan. I can continue eating whole food plant-based foods through the entire holidays and I will continue either slowly losing weight or at least maintaining my weight loss. And I don't know if a lot of people, there could be a few exceptions to the rule and I understand that there could be a few exceptions, but I don't know a lot of people that can maintain a low carb lifestyle through the holiday season successfully from the beginning of the holiday season to the end of the holiday season. I just don't see it happening. I don't know how you're going to be able to make gingerbread cookies out of bacon. If you can pull that off or cheese, um, let me know. Let me know if you can pull that off. You probably can. There's probably recipes out there for keto gingerbread cookies. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. Or a great, delicious, you know, yummy loaf of Christmas bread. I don't think you're going to pull that off very well either. And, um, or fudge. 
I'm just going to keep hitting the stuff. Um, or, you know, delicious pies for Thanksgiving. I just don't think that you're going to do it. And maybe, like I said, there might be a few exceptions out there that are going to be able to do it. But I think for the most part, you're going to go off plan. If you don't in October, you probably will for a bit in November. And by Christmas, you're going to be pretty much off plan. And then you're going to I've seen it happen a million times. January 1st is going to roll around. You're going to realize that you gained weight over the holidays because you went off plan. You also stopped exercising at the pace that you were exercising because, well, the holidays and all the socializing got in the way of your exercise plan. Come January 1st, it's going to be time for New Year's resolutions again. And this time, 2024, I'm going to get it. I have seen it over and over and over again. Now the difference for me and my friends that follow a whole food plant-based lifestyle is come October, I'm having Chef AJ's caramel apples and they are gonna be absolutely delicious. I have them every single Halloween. We watch a Halloween movie and I have those apples and they're delicious and yes, we make a little bit of a little bit of a pig of ourselves we we really eat those apples and you know what in the past when I still had a scale I got back on the scale there was no difference in my weight I remember one Halloween I was actually down a little bit after eating them anyways apples have a lot of fiber we'll just leave it there I was doing great after having that and I usually have we usually have popcorn so almost every Halloween we have popcorn and we have the chef AJ's caramel made from date apples then Thanksgiving is gonna roll around and I'm not gonna go off plan because I don't ever need to go off plan there are so many absolutely delicious um, pie recipes out there that are using whole food plant-based ingredients now I will admit I will eat a little more rich whole food plant-based foods a little more decadent whole food plant-based foods in um, for Thanksgiving and Christmas and the only difference is I will probably include recipes that have a little bit of nuts and a little bit of dates. But other than that, there's no going off plan. I'm not consuming sugar and I'm not consuming, consuming oil and obviously dairy or animal flesh. So I am still whole food plant based and I will have an amazing and my like join my plants to the rescue group join my plants to the rescue page and you will see what I'm having for Thanksgiving it will be epic there will be stuffing there will be a beautiful centerpiece I usually change that one up every single year sometimes it's been you know a, a, a amazing lentil loaf and other times I've done the big cauliflower head that you roast and it's amazing I have done like faux meats I've done seitan loaves before and gravy I usually do it a little bit different every single year and some years I have just what everyone would consider sides all on on you know on the menu um, and we've just had multiple sides what people consider sides but when you go whole food plant-based there's really nothing that is a side it's all just food and it's all just delicious food and we will have pie because we always have pie. Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show has amazing dessert recipes. And sometimes we have hers. Sometimes I have Brittany Giroudi's. Sometimes I have Fat Man Rants. Just whatever does it for you, just go for it. And you will not gain weight. You will not gain weight. Even if you are still using a scale, there might be a slight fluctuation upward over the holidays, but I'm telling you a week or two later, it's gone. It's gone, and probably some extra fat with it is gone. Same thing for Christmas. We will have Christmas cookies. I have made plant -based, whole food plant-based fudge. We've had everything that you can imagine. We've had eggnog um, without, of course, the eggs and without, of course, the crap. And we have had delicious, my birthday is in December, December 22nd. We've had, we've, we like, we start celebrating for my birthday, December 22nd. We really don't come up for air until like January 2nd. We do eat richer, more decadent stuff and we're okay. And we're going to continue to be okay. But there's no having to start again. And that's the point that I'm trying to, to nail home. This isn't a diet. This is a lifestyle, a lifelong, wonderful, healthy, beautiful journey of a lifestyle. And diets, they just leave you on this repetitive wheel of going on 
and off again, on and off again, wrestling with your demons over and over again. You don't need to wrestle with them anymore. Food doesn't have to be an enemy. There doesn't have to be like good food, bad food. Um, you know, there doesn't have to be holiday food, not holiday food. If you're whole food plant-based, it's all good. It's all good and it's all good all the time. So I just want to say that there's a lot more scientific reasons why whole food plant-based, in my opinion, is preferable to all of these other diets. But I want to talk about just life and how life will throw you curveballs and life will get in the way of your plans. And even for the best reasons, which I think are holidays, the fall and winter holidays, I think are phenomenal and the best reasons to eat delicious food with friends, you don't have to go off plan to do that when you're whole food plant-based. So just something to consider, something to think about, and another reason why you should come over to our side and follow a whole food plant-based diet. I hope this video finds you having a great weekend and enjoy your day and more videos we'll be doing some kind of haul on tuesday no clue what we're doing thought we were doing an asian haul but we might not be now my son has the cold that my husband and i had last week so it might not be the asian haul again this week but i promise eventually that is coming along but stay tuned for more hauls more cooking videos and more video chats love y'all have a great day peace and love